Hello, today we're going to be doing lesson 5 and 1 tenth, fraction decomposition. So why are we decomposing fractions? Well, we're trying to understand what makes up a unit fraction and how we can use that unit fraction to decompose or take apart, break down bigger fractions. So let's take a look at how we do this. First of all, if I have the fraction 2 tenths, I want to know how I can break this up. So first of all, we're going to take a look at a fraction circle, which might help you. If you look at this fraction circle for 2 tenths, you know that two of those pieces are equal to 2 tenths. So I could break this fraction down by saying that 1 tenth plus one-tenth is equal to two-tenths. That is decomposing a fraction. So let's say that we have the fraction five-eighths. If I use my eighths fraction circle, how many of those pieces would be equal to five-eighths? Hopefully you said five. So I could decompose this fraction by doing one-eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. That would be equivalent or equal to five eighths. So we just basically took that fraction apart to show you what that fraction was made of. So let's look at four thirds. Now I put two fraction circles up here because four th thirds would be equal to one, two, three, and then I have to come over here to a second fraction circle to make that a total of four thirds. So I'm going to break that down and write one third plus one third plus one third plus one third. Four thirds is actually bigger than a whole, right? Does anybody know what my mixed number would be? It would be one because I have one whole and one third. So we have part of another fraction on the fraction circle to the right. So can we try one without fraction circles? If I give you 6 6, can you decompose this fraction? Try it. Hopefully you thought 1 6 plus 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 one-sixth would equal six-sixths. Is there a different way that we can do this? Same fraction. Could I do six-six is equal to three-six plus three-six? Yes. What if we had a hundred and twenty one-hundredths? Can you decompose that one? We could do fifty hundredths plus 50 hundredths plus 20 hundredths. Can you think of another way? Write that down in your notes. So what have you noticed about decomposing fractions? Have you noticed that the denominator always stays the same and it's the numerators or those top numbers that have to equal the original numerator that you start with when you add them together. Hopefully you've picked up on that. So in class we will practice decomposing fractions using fraction circles if necessary. You don't have to use them but they're going to be available. And we're going to see how many different ways we can decompose fractions. So I'll see you in class.